Hello Flexum users, my name is Kavika and I'll be teaching you how to set up a live Omniverse connection between Flexum and an Omniverse app. Starting in Flexum version 2023, update 2, you can import and export USD files which can be used in Omniverse applications such as USD Composer and USD Presenter. I'll show you how you can do that. We'll start in the Omniverse launcher. Here you can see your apps. I have a USD Composer and USD Presenter downloaded from the Exchange page. I'll be using the USD Composer version 2023.1.1 for this video. After clicking Launch, you should see a window like this. When you first open the Composer, you'll see a few things. First, a 3D view with a blank stage. To the right, you have the stage prims. Underneath, you'll see the Content tab which contains your file paths. I have a Nucleus server set up on my machine and, be, and will be using that for the demo. I've made a folder called Live Connection that we'll use to contain our USD file. Our stage is looking a little bare, so let's add a mesh. You click on Create in the top, hover over Mesh, and let's click Cone. You'll see a cone appear in the 3D view. Now let's save the file and save it to our live connection folder. I'll call it test2. Once we have the file saved in our folder, we want to get the URL to use for later. So you can right click on the file and click copy URL link. Now let's go to Flexum. We'll start with a new model and drag out a USD stage object. You can find it in the 3D library under the Visual tab. You'll notice that it has a few additional properties panels named Stage and Omniverse Live. We'll start with the Stage panel. Paste the URL we copied earlier into the Edit field. When you click off the field, it will load the path and import the USD file. Uncheck the Draw Plane box and check the Select Prims box. You can now move the cone that we added earlier around in the model. Now that we have the USD file imported, we can make a live connection with our Omniverse app. Click on the USD stage and go to the Omniverse Live panel. In the edit field, type a name for your live session. I'm going to use Tom for my session name. Then click Create. Back in the USD Composer, in the top right corner, you can see a Live button. Next to that, there's a down arrow. Click the arrow and select Join Session. You'll see our session name, Tom, available to join. Let's join that one. Now, as I move my cone in one application, the changes should appear instantly in the other. As I move these objects, you'll notice some move in both places. Same thing goes for resizing. And you can manipulate these from either application. Now that we know we can make a live connection, let's see what it looks like when flow items are moving through our model. I'm going to first leave our live session, and then I'm going to build a simple model with a source, queue, processor, and sync. And I will A connect them to each other. I'll reset the model. And then I will click the save button. This will save the objects to the USD file. Here I've opened up USD Presenter, another Omniverse application that we can use to view our USD file. From here, let's join the Tom session that we created earlier. After reconnecting to our Omniverse Live session in both applications, and then resetting and running the model, we will be able to see boxes move across our processor in both applications and accumulate in our queue. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial on how to create a Omniverse Live connection between Flexim and an Omniverse app.